Welcome everybody. We're recording. So I got Corey here and we're going to do a gameplay. Uh, this is going to be my deck of many threats, the purple alert deck versus Corey's necropotence. Or no, not necropotence, necromania deck. And um, we've already, this is a match. We've already done the first two games. So this will be game three. Uh, we each won one. So we're 1-1 one, one here. And then we're going to play a game with another deck that I have and another deck that Corey has. And uh, we'll reveal those when we get to it. So um, let me draw here. And wait, who's going first? I think it's me. Or, or I'm choosing. Uh, I won the last match or the last game of the match. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> hmm. Okay. So I I'm gonna go first. And move these down here. All right. So I'm going to tap two. I'm going to play uh, Rosebush Golem. Uh, one, two, Arch, TP Strike, Ward, or World Ward. Uh, Arch doesn't matter. And then I'm going to activate a second one and pass priority. Um, I'll get a bounty aura out. Okay. Oh, wait. I get a fourth card. Um, I'm going to tap two and give Wizard's Hat, which is a Celerity One item. Two Rosebush Golem. And you played what, uh, a what aura? Bounty. Oh, a bounty. That comes into play untapped. Right. Nice. That, okay. That well of souls. All right. Um, yeah, I'm going to attack you with uh, this Rosebush Golem. Any response? That happens. All right, you get one damage. And I'm going to attack you again with this same Rosebush Golem for another one damage. And then I'll attack you with this Rosebush Golem for one damage. Pass turn. End of your turn. I'll use my Well of Souls to play Demon Eye Amulet. It is a, an item that gives aspects and plus one plus one. Okay. It's, uh, oh, that light is just nice. Oh, that works. Oh yeah. What are your alignments again? Um, chaotic evil. Okay, and I'm chaotic neutral. All right, so I will tap for four to play a wall of bones. It is a one four hallowed brave venom. 
Okay. It's a little scary for this deck. And let's see. I uh, I have one card in hand, but I'm all tapped out. Let's see. I will attack one of your. Actually, now first tap. Pay one with Wall of Bones. Wield the Demon Eye Amulet. Okay. Making so him a, a two five. Yeah, he's a two five with aspects. Hallowed Brave Venom Auspex. And attack your wielding Rosebush Golem. For okay. So that damage. is destroyed. And this gets unwielded. And pass turn. All right. Um, no response to the end of your turn there. Untap. And I'm going to produce one. Oh, joy. All right. Um, pay two to attach wizard's hat. This is another wizard's hat. To Rosebush Golem. And um, what is his? He, uh, he's a 2 5? Yes. Okay. Shoot. Tap Rosebush Golem. Tap Wizard's Hat to activate TP Strike, <clears throat> giving Rosebush Golem plus three plus one. So he's a four three. And then I'm going to attack a uh, Wall of Bone. That happens. And then I'm going to attack uh, Wall of Bone again. All right. So those will both have two minus one minus one counters on them from the Venom. Okay. So this dies. And my Wall of Bones will also die. Okay. And pass turn. I feel like we both got brick hands. <laughs> I wouldn't call my hand a brick. It's not uh, not quite as fast as some of my other hands have been, but Wall of Bones is, um, well, not the only rare, but one of the main rares of this deck. <laughs> but yeah, for those of you watching Necropotent or Necromania, sorry, I keep calling. I, I, I was just looking at <laughs> Necropotence, Necroimpotence, and listening to the uh, Mark Rosewater podcast. Uh, so I just have that in my head right now. But Necromania, Corey's deck, is a very competitive deck. Uh, you're not seeing it at its best right now. <laughs> Hopefully you will, though. Let's see. So I will play another Wall of Bones. Tap Demon Eye Amulet for mana to wield it. Use a mana. Wait, was that tapped? Was uh, the item the, tapped? Yes. Okay, yeah. An tapped. item can't be uh, wielded if it's tapped. The ally oh, right, can be tapped. Right, right, right. But not the item. So if you wanted to tap Wall of Bone, you could do that. 
if you had two. Let's see. What you do? I do, but I have one other thing to consider. Oh, okay. Uh, let's see. So it will definitely get that MP. Don't want to let that go to waste. And tap the Demon Eye Amulet to play a Bone Collector. It has TP Revive and Cautious, and it is a 1-1. One, one. Okay. Wall of Bones. Let's see. So you have nothing in play. No creatures. Wonderful. Wall of Bones will attack you for one venom damage. Oh, let me get my let me get my dice. One second. Sorry for the delay. Um, let's use let's use black dice. So I got one venom token. One venom token. Okay. And bone collector will also attack you for one damage. Okay. And I will. Tap Wall of Bones to produce one MP to activate TP Revive of Bone Collector, bringing a Lich from my graveyard back to my hand. Okay. A Lich is another one that is very fearsome in Corey's deck. Uh, the main combat creature, or the main combat ally, should I say, of this deck. Did you pass turn? Yes, I passed turn. Okay. So actually, I think I misplayed last turn. I produced one MP, but then still paid the two. I only had to pay one, but it didn't matter. So I'm going to produce one. Oh. I think I'm going to lose this game. <laughs> uh. Pay one and then spend the one I already made and play Leyline Surge to sharpen Aura. And it doesn't matter because I don't have any allies. Pass turn. I haven't even been remembering to use my evil alignment at all this game. <laughs> oh yeah, I was wondering. <laughs> all right, so produce three MP, play the Lich, pay one MP, Acquire the Demon Eye Amulet. Use the Lich to attack you for three Venom damage. So I got four. Wall of Bones will attack you for one more Venom damage. Up to five. Bone Collector will attack you for one regular damage. And let's see. Tap Bone Collector and Wall of Bones for 2 MP to play Necromantic Study. Research Minions 1. Okay. There 
Mr. Foots, I'm not sure yet. One minion. Okay, but I gotta. We're gonna see. Oh, he is okay. So he's op activating research. Op activating research. And get a. It's the best thing to get. I'll put a fallen pillager into my hand. One okay. one. Da greed infiltrate. Nice. And then attack you for one with my minion. All right. And pass turn. All right. Okay. So tap two, play weaponized gremlin, uh, two one venom mastery DA death. And be a problem. <laughs> I'm going to tap sharpen and weaponize gremlin to get a wizard's hat. Celerity and well. so he's a he's a three one of sharpen and he's got celerity time to start hitting shit okay so well, my wall of bones is brave so you will have to attack that first okay so one attack to wall of bone for three damage with mastery and that is venom damage so it happens in minus one minus one counters yes indeed making him a uh less than zero power <laughs> okay <laughs> but one toughness left <laughs> okay and then um yeah i don't want to attack that again uh and then what's uh you got the lich there about the lich which is a three three mastery venom oh. specs okay steven i amulet uh i'll just uh I'll just kill the the minion then. Kill the minion. And pass turn. Brian, I will play Bone Prison on your goblin. All right. So let's get a bind token. Binding it, giving me another minion. So we got a little, little piece crane to represent the bind token. Oh boy, you made that wall of bones useless. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Fallen pillager. Attack you with Lich for three venom. Okay, let me get another dice, or another die, singular, so I'm up to eight. Attack you with Fallen Pillager for one. one. Attack you with Bone Collector for one. Oh wait, before you do that, uh, you DA greed, right? Oh yes, I DA agreed from the Fallen Pillager. And then and what was the other thing that attacked me? Bone Collector for one damage. Okay. And I'll tap the Fallen Pillager for one MP to play Phylactery 
my cycle card. Okay. And that will just chill in play here. <laughs> okay. Pass turn. All right. Oh, that doesn't untap. Oh, actually, I forgot to do something. So this immediately gets dropped when it got the bind token. No? Wait one second here. No? Okay. Ooh. This is fun. Tap one. So there's something distracting me. Okay. Uh, accidental demon. 2 1 Auspex Breach DA Advance. World Research. Um. Move those. And then um, tap two. No. Ah. Sorry, I was trying to kill a fly. It was like a little little fruit fly. Tap two to give or to attach wizard's hat to accidental demon great this is how i lost the first game <laughs> <laughs> and oh man i wish i could do that again um so let's see here let's attack your minion wait no you, you have, you have you to attack the wall of bones okay so attack wall of the bones, wall of bones will die horribly Okay. And uh, what was his defense? It was only one. Ooh. So I get to breach. How much are you breaching for? One. One damage. And then he has DA advance, so I'm going to give him a plus one, plus one counter. And then, let's see here. You got your minion, your fallen pillager, and what was the other one? Bone collector? Lich, bone collector, fallen pillager. Oh, ouch. And which one is cautious? The bone collector is cautious. I'll move that to the uh, back of the combat line okay. for a representation of that. So, accidental demon. Oh, actually... You get an additional damage. I forgot about Sharpen. Ah, yes. So, Accidental Demon is a 4-2. Yeah. And the Lich again, sorry. The Lich is a 3-3 three, three Mastery Venom Auspex. Ah, god damn it. And what's the other one? 1-1. One, one. Yeah, yeah. Fallen Pillager and Bone Collector are both one ones. Okay. I will attack Fallen Pillager and breach three. <clears throat> and then I will give that plus one plus one counter to accidental demon oh no I missed it that flies wily okay and then you know while I'm at it tap two Activate research. Let's get some fire. In response, I'll uh, use one of these MPs to tap Bone Collector and grab a wall of bone back from my graveyard. Okay. 
I got no response to that. Hmm. I'm going to get weaponized gremlin. All right. And pass turn. Produce 2 MP, play Blood Ritual, Greed. Ouch. Okay. Draw two cards. Pay two, play another Well of Souls, Bounty Aura. Jeez, okay. Pay one, two, three, and four. Recast Wall of Bones. Uh, and attack your accidental demon with Lich. Okay, he's a... 3-3 three, three Mastery Venom Auspex. Oh, so my deal your deal venom damage before he deals combat damage back. Yeah, and he's only a five three. Dropping him to a zero. Zero. It's about to calculate power, but it doesn't matter when he dies. Yep. Let's move that over. So no creatures in play, right? Correct. This one has a bind token. Let's see, so that's attacked. Will produce now. I will attack you for one venom with wall of bones. Okay. And Nine. attack you for two standard damage with Bone Collector and Minion. Pass turn. All right. Yeah, I guess that's everything. So produce one. Huh. Um, so hmm. interesting conundrum. Okay, so I'm going to spend that one to activate cycle. All right, that happens. And this is a funny case because I don't actually get an MP. Although I could have. So normally I could have untapped something because uh, Chaotic is untapped. But what I should have done is tapped Chaotic, spent that MP, and then untapped Chaotic, and then had the extra flip, but I spent the flip. Um, 
And then I'm going to tap one. Necromancer friend, revive. And get my cycle back. Good play. And then tap... Um, sharpen and my alignment to play weaponized gremlin and then tap weaponized gremlin and one of the wizard's hats to give this untapped wizard's hat to weaponized gremlin it is a 3-1 mastery venom DA death And do you still have Fallen Pillager in play? I do not. Uh, so you got I Lich, have Lich, Bone Collector, Wall of Bones, Bone Collector, and Minion. Okay, what's uh, the Wall of Bone at? Wall of Bone is a one for Hallowed Brave Venom. Okay, so attack Wall of Bone. Doing Deal. three minus one minus one counters to it. Yep. And what's your lich again? Three three mastery aspects venom. Okay, I'm going to attack the lich with uh, weaponized gremlin. And Kamikaze. They kill each other. Yep. And that's my turn. Past turn. In response to your end of turn, I'll use this mana, activate Bone Collector, bring the Lich back to my hand. Okay. And I will also activate my cycle. Actually, you can just tap the dead Lich, and you'll still have it face down for your next turn. True. Actually, you know, I might need that much mana. <laughs> I was thinking it didn't matter because I didn't need that much mana, but let's see. Tap that. Activate Bone Collector. Well, I want that Lich out of my graveyard, but I <laughs> want to bring it back to my hand before I cycle. Oh, yeah. So I won't have anything to represent its... Uh, it is technically in the graveyard, but I won't have a representation of its uh, mana abilities. Let me just put a dice here. That'll be the flip MP I have to spend. Well, if you, if you bring it back from your discard pile, then you don't have that next turn. Well, it doesn't matter what I whether I tap it or flip it. I'm bringing it back to my hand. Okay. And then activating my cycle. DC activation. No response. Sacrifice my minion for mana. Tap Wall of Bones and Demon Eye Amulet to play the Lich. And then my turn starts. <laughs> Tap for play Fallen Pillager. Tap one, Demon Eye Amulet is wielded by the Lich, and you have no allies in play. Correct. This is an item. 
I attack for three venom with Lich. Okay. So I'm up to 12. Almost dead. I attack with Fallen Pillager for one normal damage. Okay. DA greeting me a card. I attack with Bone Collector for one normal damage. One, two, pay two MP to cast Blood Ritual, drawing two cards. One, two, three MP to play another Lich. Attacking for two Venom with Lich. All right, I'm one away. So I got 14. Oh, wait, you know what I could do? Drop the Demon Eye Amulet, tap the Lich, wield the Demon Eye Amulet, attack you for three Venom instead of two. There you go, that's game. All right. So Corey won the match between Purple Alert and uh, Necromania. Well done. And if you like these Mage War card blanks, you can get your own set at the Game Crafter. That's right. Yeah, hold up your hold up your card there. We've got white and black. These four tokens or alignments to easily separate them from your main deck. And let's see what uh, the front on those main deck cards looks like. They're yeah, all black right. bordered now. The white bordered one was an early incarnation that has been fixed. <laughs> oh, nice. Yeah, those are good. And if you're interested in like drawing on your cards, uh, Corey's art frame on his cards, I think, is bigger than mine. So it will give you more space to, to work in there. All right, so we're going to play the next game here. Next game. All right, and will you play Necromania again? I will not. Okay. What are you playing? Well, I was thinking I would do Goblin Tinker. Okay. But... So, I actually, Corey's already seen this, but you haven't. So I already made uh, another deck here, and I drew all the cards. These are just on blanks, and I drew the whole thing with Sharpie. So this deck is neutral, neutral, and I don't really have a good name for this deck. The flavor kind of sucks, but it is that deck that I talked about in the How to Make a Mage War deck video, the recent ones. Uh where this was, I want to make the most defensive deck possible. It should laugh at damage and Venom tokens. And after relearning this deck a little bit, I'm pretty sure I've got the, the piloting down. And I believe so long as... And I don't even... You can brick with this deck, but so long as everything goes right, you really do laugh at damage and Venom Tokens. And this deck as well is one that wants to go second. So neutral, neutral, drawn four cards. Let's see. Um, yeah, I guess I'm going to go second. All right. And then I will start by...
testing my cycle. I call this card Brainstorm. It is just a cycle aura. Okay. And pass turn. So at the end of your turn, I'm going to tap two and play offensive capabilities. Uh, I'm not going to op activate this, obviously, but it's a vital greed one strike. Vital. Uh, actually, yeah, that's not arch. Never mind. I get to greed one. And then my turn. Okay, looks like I did brick a little bit here again. That's funny. Um, tap two, play another offensive capabilities. And tap one. Oh, wait, that comes into play tapped. Tap one, play a world bubble. This is called stay back. Comes into play tap. I'll put that actually down here. And pass turn. Tap three, play a goblin assistant. It is a one one warded infiltrate. Okay. And attack you for one. Oh. Shoot, shoot, shoot. I got to plug in my phone again. I keep forgetting this. One second. to do that when I was setting up. Okay, we're back, we're good. What's going on? You summoned? Uh, Goblin Assistant, a 1-1 one, one warded infiltrate, and I will be attacking you for one. Oh, okay. That's not fun. And I pass turn. All right. Tap two, play Redundancies, it is a World Revive Aura, and then I'm going to tap two and get two bubble tokens. Let me get a die on that. Two bubble tokens. And the then, game is afoot now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, past turn, I have four cards in hand. All right. I will tap two. Play the item Rocket Boots. Mastery plus two plus zero. All right. On to Goblin Assistant. And attacking for three. All right. I will 
prevent. Oh, actually, wait a second. I actually, in response to you playing that, I'm going to tap one and counter it with no. 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 That's countered. Attacking for one, then. All right. Remove one bowl token. Go down to one. And tap two MP. Play a goblin grenade. Oh. Not activating it currently. Oh, okay. Your turn. All right. Tap two, uh, activate revive, and I will get uh, paranoid key master. One, two, breach warded stun, DA sabotage, world revive. And lo and behold, I will tap three and play. Paranoid Keymaster. Those are both the same. Okay. Now we're cooking with gas. And what do you what do y'all got out there? My only ally is a one one goblin assistant. And he has mastery? He does not. He is a warded infiltrate. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Um, in that case, I'm going to attack with Paranoid Keymaster and uh, hold priority to activate Strike giving him plus three, plus one until end of turn, or sorry, plus three, plus one. So he's a four, three. Breach. Ouch. Any response? No, I am tapped out. All right, so that's three damage. Killing Goblin Assistant, breaching for three. Always freeze down. And this activates DA Sabotage. Discard a card from your hand. Ouch. And let's see here. Hmm. Um, the past turn. A 2MP play targeting gobbles. Plus zero plus okay. zero celer celerity. Actually, no, I guess I uh, should be using that to play targeting gobbles instead of tapping. Um, activate my cycle. DC activation. turn 
All right. At the end of your turn, I'm going to tap two and play Guarded Entrance. Uh, minions one, Scry, not activating. And we got little minion. Getting all in frame. Okay. Oh, fun. Okay. So tap two. Play. Don't touch me. This is an alert. And uh, oh, that's on. That, that's tapped. And um. I think, hmm, <laughs> I'm going to tap two, get two bubble tokens going from one to three. Tap two to play Harsh Environment. Uh, not activating Poison, but getting Minions one. And you have nothing in play? No allies. Ooh, good. Okay. In that case, I'm going to uh, DC activate um, strike on offensive capabilities. Give it to Paranoid Keymaster to make him a 4-3 and attack you for 4. 4 damage. And DA Sabotage doesn't activate because you have no cards in hand? No cards in hand. All right. Then I'm going to attack you with each of the minions for one each. One, two. And pass turn. Okay. Tap two mana play repair bot. It is a one one TP revive hallowed. All right, my alert activates. I get one bubble token. to see. I will pass turn. Okay. I'm untapping around a tripod and cords here. <laughs> All right. Huh. Tap. Well, mm -hmm. yeah, I really wish I could dig for something. Yeah, nothing in there, really. I mean, I could get a strike. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to tap <clears throat> two. Activate revive. Get back offensive capabilities. 
tap two, activate uh, offensive capabilities and target paranoid keymaster with strike, getting greed one. Tap two to activate high ground uh, and not activating flank, but getting greed one. And so he's got strike. And let's see here. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just going to attack you with Paranoid Keymaster for four. Attacking the repair bot? Oh, that's right. You have a repair bot. Then yes. And I'll pay one to activate hallowed on the repair bot to keep it from dying. I still uh, get breached for three. Uh, sort of. Hang on a second. I'm going to tap one and counter. Counter my hallowed activation. Yes. Pay another one to activate hallowed again. Uh, doesn't, wait, what? Oh, okay, so countering that discards that card. I, let me see if it's destroyed. I think it's just discarded. Counter a card being played and or activating its abilities. Activated abilities do not take effect. The countered card is discarded along with counter each to their own player's discard pile. If this counter is a DA ability, then the ally with that DA ability is not discarded as a result. Counter can also be countered. Should that be errated? I suppose it should. All right. We will address that in second edition. And uh, yeah, why don't we just play with that edit for now so you can reactivate Hallowed. And... Hmm. Well, at least I can attack you. Oh, yeah. So that was three breach damage, right? Three breach. And you've got nothing in hand? No cards in hand. Okay. Then I'll attack you directly with minion one and then minion two. Um, actually... Wait, what's uh, the the Goblin Tinker? What's its defense? Uh, the Repair Bot is a one-one. A Repair Bot, sorry. Actually, then instead, of, yeah, you can take back that last damage. I'm going to activate Poison. Those are tapped. Uh, on the minion, and attack. Um, the repair bot and I think this dies and then pass turn One, two, 
three, four. Goblin Tinker. DA Research Warded Infiltrate 1-1. One, one. Okay. Pay one, two MP to wield targeting goggles. And, uh, uh, did you have to tap targeting goggles for that? No, I tapped Goblin Tinker and oh, okay. Goblin Grenade. Cool. And attack you for one damage. What does targeting goggles do? Gives him celerity one. Oh man, okay. Um, so you're attacking who? You directly. He has infiltrate. You have nothing with aspects, right? Uh, actually, I'm going to activate Scry on Paranoid Keymaster. Well, so he's a 2 yeah. 3 with aspects. Uh, I guess I would not be attacking your Ozpex creature. I guess I'll just pass turn. <laughs> All right. All right. Get ready for the spice. We're tapping three. And we're playing... Neurotic Gatekeeper. 1-2 Breach Warded Stun. DA Advance. World Research. And... You've got that Celerity thing. And he's got hallowed, warded, warded. He is not hallowed. Okay. Well, that's good to know. You can kill it. Um, <clears throat> I will tap two, activate high ground, and I will target neurotic gatekeeper. So it's one one. Uh, plus one, plus one, I mean, and mastery. And then I will attack the repair bot. Goblin Tinker. Oh, Goblin Tinker. He died. And what was his defense? One. Okay, so you get one damage. One breach. And I get to put a plus one, plus one counter on something. I'm going to give it to Narada Gatekeeper. Or actually, does that? No, that doesn't make sense. Paranoid Keymaster. And then I will attack you directly with Paranoid Keymaster for Damn. two. Two damage. And any cards in hand? No cards in hand. All right. Um. I will attack you for one with the minion. Take one from the minion. And... Hmm. What should we do with our remaining MP? What we got in our discard pile? Hmm. And 
Okay. Tap two, activate revive, get back a counter, pass turn. I am not going to be able to win this game. Day one. Play Rift. Warded Research. All right. Let's see if I can uh, pull something out of my hat here. No, there's nothing that can save me now. Get a grab R and D. All right. A two play R and D. Drawing two cards. Judge, judge, he didn't shuffle. Oh. I don't care. Right, I didn't. Huh, huh, huh. Pay to play a steam engine, Bounty Aura. Okay. Use that two mana to play another R and D. And he's really digging. <laughs> Dig until you find something that can help you not die so quickly. <laughs> um, do you have? So, what are the? What are your creatures? Um, that your these two here, and the minion. They both have breach, warded, and stun. This one has DA sabotage and world revive. This one has DA advance and world research. What are their defenses? One two, or uh, two three, because of the one counter. Uh, one counter, uh, one two, so two three, one two. And what's that aura you have there on the right? This here is alert. Uh, above it. Uh, this one is high ground. Flank. Flank. I can't get in focus. Flank. Flank gives it plus one plus one when it activates. Yep, and mastery. And mastery. Well, that does me no good. Oh boy. You know, I'm just gonna concede you are absolutely gonna win next turn. <laughs> yep. All right, you're gonna scoop. All right. Scoop it. Yeah, for as defensive as this deck is built to be, the basic strategy that I remember, like, like I had to relearn this, was that it really, you play the deck as if damage doesn't matter. You take as much damage as it takes to get out alert and bubble, and you just stack up tokens and never take damage. <laughs> and then those those two allies, uh, Neurotic Gatekeeper and Paranoid Keymaster, last game, these two things were just absolute powerhouses because of the warded stun. Like, and of course there are redundancies like I could have, I could have searched for things. I could have brought out, um, like a bounty aura or something else. But you don't really have to search for anything. Except you can toolbox, but you didn't need to. Exactly. Yeah, and I got to show the bounty aura on camera. I should showcase the whole thing here, but. Yeah. Terribly drawn, but toilet paper vault. Bounty aura. Bounty. I love that. <laughs> um, nice. All right. 
Do you have time for another game? I do. All right. You got another deck? I should. Let's see. Oh, that deck has some no longer existing abilities in it. Uh, that happens. Let's see what do I got here? Yeah, that is also a uh, antiquated deck. Oh, are all of these antiquated because of uh, exchange abilities? Yeah, I think they are. Yeah, for Corey and I, we have some builds from early, early versions of Mage War. We're still fixing things. See, I think this one should be. Let's see, oh, that does have. Oh, that's got exchange abilities in it too. That's right. Exchange abilities were so good back then, you could not build a deck without them. Yeah. <laughs> that's why they no longer exist. <laughs> Oh, I remember this deck. Well, here. This deck might be able to give that one a run for its money, actually. While Corey's searching through the deck, I can do the art showcase here. So the cycle is Sheer Fortress. And then we've got, of course, the Bounty Aura. Where did I put it? Oh, yeah. Toilet Paper Vault. Um, let's do the allies at the end. You've got redundancies. World Revive, you saw that. Uh, two counters that are both no. <laughs> um, oh, so two copies of Stay Back. And I just kind of focusing is terrible here, but stay back. It's a bubble aura and there's only two. I, you'd think there might be three cause they're so important, but I split them up between that and the alert and it seemed like the best build. Speaking of which we've got two alerts. Don't touch me. A Brack joke. I feel like a lot of people saw that video after the the Corona shutdowns. I thought it was funny how popular that, that got. Um, World Advance, Excessive Armory. The CNM Mel or catalog was going to write uh, Acme on that, but I thought, A, I don't know if it's copyrighted, and B, I thought Corey and Mark would be funny. Go away, uh, world death. Stop that, world sabotage. You activate those with uh, the minions, and you can revive them just to get recursion. And then we've got all the buffs. So there's there's three offensive capabilities. And there's one that's also drawn the same there. And then I drew this, this third one there. Oh. And then two. Oh, wait, let's do the other greed ones. So high ground. And I drew those to go higher up into the clouds. So this one is the highest. Some of those have little birds on them, like the birds are flying next to the tower. I don't know if you can see it there. You can see it better on this one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then uh, two guarded entrance. Those are the scries. They're basically the same. That one's, this one's the better one more clean. And then, oh, I forgot over prep time. 
world research little like idea board I almost see Charlie Day there with a crazy look in his eyes <laughs> <laughs> can we talk about the mail please it goes all the way to the top <laughs> <laughs> who is Pepe Silvia <laughs> harsh environment I got three of those uh, this was the first one I drew it was crappy second one was okay third one I was like Sharpie's tough. And then uh, two of the neurotic gatekeepers. And two paranoid key master. And so, yeah, basically... You just focus on the bubble tokens. You get out the creatures when you can, or the allies, if you use major war terms. Um, and neutral, neutral, you always want to go second. Say the word creature, Watsi will hear you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I, uh, you don't have to give information to your opponent here, but what's the name of the deck you're playing? Oh, well, I don't really have a name for it. This was just my aggro deck. Oh, fun. Also, may I showcase this true budget build? It is regular playing cards nice. with sleeves and scraps of paper with the card info written on them. Yeah, no, hold that up for the camera. And then show the card front there. So he's got a little piece of paper in the sleeve with the card and he's just got the card written on it it's great this is how you make a deck as cheap as you want it to be right here yep cost you, don't you even need basically nothing to build yeah you don't even need to sleeve if you just got playing cards you could write directly on the face of them if you want you yes you can you can and those and those shuffle better because you can actually shuffle those without having to sleeve them. All right, and oh no, we're both true neutral. Who goes first? Oh, we got to roll. <laughs> Where'd my dice go? All right, I got a five. One. <laughs> All right. I'm going second. Let's see. Well, I'll just start with my cycle aura. It has cycle and minions one. I get a minion token. Okay. <clears throat> Attack you with minion token. Uh, in response, I'm going to tap one and play bubble or stay back. All right. And take one damage. Oh, that's funny. It's the other stay back. Oh, good thing you already got one. Yeah. Past turn. All right. Um, hmm. Conundrum. Yeah, you know what? Let's let's do what we let's walk the walk. All right. No way. I don't want to pay three. I want to pay two. Play alert. Don't touch me. Oh, it's coming into play tap. Pass turn. Pay two. Play an agility aura that also has minions one. A what? Is an agility minions one aura is agility an ability still isn't it wait let me check it is not 
this deck is obsolete. Is it? I think, uh, wait, agility, agility. Yeah. Uh, do you want to change it for something? You can change it out with another buff. Unless it... Uh, agility was pretty impactful. I don't know how important what an agility it is to the strategy. Do? Well, it's just a bunch of those buffs in this deck. Is there... Agility? Yeah. Agility used to give Celerity 1, but it turned out that was broken. Celerity is pretty powerful. Other... The buffs are on page eight. Page eight. <clears throat> oh, and while Corey's reading there. Uh, just a note, Corey owns the only hardcover printed copy of 1.1 edition. The only oh, copy hardcover. before it got uh, taken down. And that is 1.1, by the way. That's that, uh, that wasn't the one that got edited. That is the current rule set, and he has the only one printed. <laughs> Fantastic. This will be worth billions someday. <laughs> it should. Man, I gotta get the author to sign this. <laughs> then it would really be valuable. You can sign it, actually. <laughs> that feels disingenuous. Your name is in there. That's true. Uh, uh, the buffs are on page seven in this book. Oh. Wait, am I reading? Oh, yeah, you're reading the hardcover version, so it'll be one page less in the count. I I have the PDF that I'm reading from. Okay, so real quick, let me just see which buffs I use in this ability, and I can change agility to one of the ones that I'm not using already. Okay. Yeah, because all those are limited, so he's got to make sure there aren't more than three. Okay, there's another one of the agility cards. So we have Strike, Flank, Hallow, Ward. What's the other agility? Shroud. All the agilities are going to become rages. Oh, good choice. Okay. I like that. So we'll do just a quick alteration of these agility cards, and the deck will be back to current rule set. And this is how easy it is to make your own cards and modify them on the fly. I love it. So there we have... Ah, I can even pick these up. <laughs> All right, yeah, that works. Let me sleeve that one, reshuffle these back into my deck. Yeah, that was an easy fix too, because they were all the same cost, so the deck cost didn't change, 
Okay. And neither did the play cost or anything. Perfect. Now back to your regularly scheduled Mage War game. <laughs> Okay, so where were we? So you just played that. You got a minion. And I will... That comes in play tapped because it's an aura. I had already attacked you with my minion. Right? Uh... That was, was, that was last turn, right? Or no? I played my cycle on my first yeah. turn. Like, oh right, okay. So I get the second minion. There you from go. Playing the rage. Yeah, yeah. Minions one. And now you still have no creatures, so I will attack with both minions for two damage. All right. And neither of those activate alert because alert's only when you play uh, non token allies. And okay. pass turn. All right. Um, no response there. Okay. Tap three <clears throat> and play Neurotic Gatekeeper. One, two, Breach, Warded Stun, DA Advance, World Research. And I will. Oh. Hmm. Mm hmm. Ooh, that's a good play. Tap two. Play high ground. And activate, of course, uh, greed activates, but I will activate flank, targeting neurotic gatekeeper. So it's a 2-3 until end of turn with mastery. And I will attack your minion. It dies. And put a plus one, plus one counter on Neurotic Gatekeeper and pass turn. Okay, to play a Hallow Aura with Minions 1. Get another minion token into play. <coughs> One, two, play a ward minions one aura. Getting another minion into play. Nice. Pass turn. All right. Yeah, these are good. These decks are a good match for one another. Gatekeeper provides valuable defense against minions. <laughs> But it doesn't it doesn't trigger alert, which is good. Um, let's see here. What how do I want to proceed here? Okay. Tap two. Play excessive armory. World Advance. And then tap two. 
to activate bubble, get two bubble tokens. And then I will attack one of your minions with Neurotic Gatekeeper. And he is a... 2-3. Two, three. Three. Or she. Or however it self-identifies. <laughs> well, I drew with some curves. Let's see. Back up, I need one, two, three. Um, yeah, that menu will just die. That's fine. Okay. Don't need to waste any activations on keeping a minion around. This will be two and pass turn. Okay, two play this nameless ally who is a TP guard cautious 1-1. One, one. Ooh. I get a bubble token. You do. Alright, so I will declare my attack phase. and use one of my minions to attack your neurotic gatekeeper, activating TP guard on it, giving it plus one, plus three. Okay, so it's a and two, four. Two, four, <clears throat> and activate rage on it as well, making it a 3-5 breach. Okay. Um, I'll, uh, <clears throat> I'll activate stun. Take two damage. Negate the attack. And attack you directly with the other minion. I will remove a bubble, a bubble token. Sorry, I can't talk. Pay two, play a Hallow Minions One Aura, getting another minion, attack you with that minion. I will take one more bubble token off. And attack you with my Cautious Guard. Whose attack is? One. I will remove my last bubble token. And that's turn. All right. <clears throat> okay. So, tap two. Get two bubble tokens. Tap two <clears throat> to play offensive capabilities. Not activating strike, but getting agreed. Unless you have a response there. No cards in hand. Okay. Also tapped out. Oh, well, except for minions. Well, I guess I could sacrifice them for mana, but... Yeah. And... Hmm. So 
So that thing's got cautious, right? Yes. Okay. We'll have to kill the minions first. That I will. I... I'm going to pay two to activate research. Getting toilet paper vault. Oh, dropped a card. Sorry, I should be shuffling on camera here. Yeah, let me see you shuffle that deck, <laughs> cheater. <laughs> you can't trust me. <laughs> um, Judge. And then... He's shuffling off camera. And then I will attack your minion, one of them. He's a 3-4. Four. And he breaches as well. Yep. Yeah, might as well just let that minion die. All right. Breaching for two. And I will give Neurotic Gatekeeper one more plus one plus one counter. Pass turn. Oh boy, I never named any cards or themed this deck at all. I just got the abilities and went with it, but I'm thinking maybe like a seven deadly sins kind of a thing with uh, all the all the buff abilities represented as a different sin. Oh, that's good. Different like spirits. I will play a shroud minions aura. Getting me another minion. So I'm tapped out, but I have five cards in hand. Calculating his plan of attack. He is. Gatekeeper is a problem for me. That it is. And I'm going to sideboard in some death. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I was thinking. Um, some of the board wipes would be really, really powerful against this deck. I cast Damocles. Oh man, you should, you should make prismatic control. Sleeve that up. I think you'd be good at piloting that. Yes, I will pass turn. Okay. I think we're starting to see the concession. Oh, God, don't say that. <laughs> the defeat. Taste it. Pay two. Play toilet paper vault. Bounty aura. Tap two, get two more bubble tokens for four. And 
And man, I really, I should start closing things out here. So I'm going to pay or yeah, produce to pay to activate research. <clears throat> get paranoid key master and then pay three play paranoid key master put this down here and attack one of your minions with Neurotic Gatekeeper. And he is? A four, five. Five. Let's see. <clears throat> I will pay one, activate TP guard to make the minion. Let's see, he will come up to a 2 4. I mean, I guess my min I just really want my minion to survive and uh, not let you deal damage. So that's all I. Well, I'm going to make you work for it. All right. I create a combat stalemate and you respond with activating strike on neurotic gatekeeper let's see so I could hollow it Guess I'll uh, activate the Hallow Aura to keep that minion alive. All right, you got to pay one. Wait, why? Because you have well, you gave it Hallowed, and now you have to pay for Hallowed to activate Hallowed. Ah, right gives it hallow doesn't pay for it uh tap the other hallow aura to create the uh actually i guess i could tap its own aura to create the mana dc activate the hallow then use the mana created to hallow it yep making it a three five right plus two plus four Three, five. Okay. So you take two damage. Because <clears throat> this was a, a four, five plus three, one. So seven, six. Oh, man. And if I got that, stun is problematic. <laughs> I could pop two more of these buffs to allow my minion to kill gatekeeper, but then you could just stun in response and it wouldn't matter. Mm -hmm. Jesus. And I'm not trying to kill the minion. I'm just trying to deal breach damage. I'm trying to not take any damage. <laughs> <laughs> I can try to not take damage, but it wouldn't matter. You would just stun if I reached a point where I wouldn't take damage, then you just deal damage next turn anyway. Actually, you're... Uh... Do you have a revive, a world revive on field? Yep. Yeah, erotic key master. 
Paranoid Keymaster. Ah, oh, fuck. This is, this is a... This is a conundrum. <laughs> Yeah, I guess if I'm taking damage, no matter what, I don't really need to activate the hollow, but I'd lose the minion. Don't necessarily care about losing one minion. God damn it. <laughs> You're killing me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right, so I take the two breach. Okay. And I will put a plus one plus one counter on Paranoid Keymaster. And then I will attack your second minion with Paranoid Keymaster, who is a 2 3. He doesn't have stun also, does he? Yep. He does. Yes, it does. One Breach, ball. warded, stun, DA sabotage, will revive. Well, that second minion's just going to go ahead and die then, I guess. All right. So you take one damage. damage. Give me cards in hand. No cards in hand. All right. And pass turn. Pay two. Play a ward aura. Getting me another minion token. Not that it fucking matters. <laughs> Well, you're doing pretty good, actually, so far. Yeah, but the thing about this deck is it's aggressive in small increments and large quantities, and your bubble tokens just go, oh, you've got minions? That's cute. <laughs> and I still have to be able to attack both of your creatures, which would kill two of my minions then I'd be able to attack you with two more creatures and you could bubble those. Yep. Unless I popped all my auras, which would remove all my answers in exchange for just a few damage against you. <laughs> yep. It's, it's just kind of a lose lose situation. This deck is uh ill-equipped to deal with that one, I would have to sideboard to uh, have answers for you. Because <laughs> as it is, I'm straight offense, but you've got a, enough defense that it doesn't matter. Well, you want to uh, continue, or do you want to scoop and sideboard? You know, I might as well just scoop and sideboard at this point. I don't think uh, this right. deck in its original form can beat that one. All right, let's scoop and sideboard. I'm not going to sideboard for this deck. Yeah, you don't need to. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right, and I didn't even get my star ally. Oh, I didn't get to see it? Nope. <clears throat> also, is that a... Is that a different version of the Alien Invasion deck? It kind of is. Okay. I remember that one had more allies, though. Yeah, that one actually had... actually had allies and had less cards with minions. A lot of the cards still had minions, but none of them were the buffs. Oh, okay. 
Yeah, I think it had like TP abilities, right? Yeah. Take out for those answers. So, for those watching, last time I visited Corey, I think it was the Christmas of 2019. Or was it 2018? That would have been 2019. Yeah, 2019, because that was right before Mage War was released. <clears throat> then I got to play some of those decks that Corey has there. Uh, they were very fun. And that was back when the decks that I were building were still terrible. <clears throat> um, and Corey gifted me two bottles of mead that he had brewed. They were... or. They are delicious, amazing, but I only drank one of them last summer, and that was after I let it age for like six months. And then I still have the other bottle that's been aging this whole time too. So I'm going to crack that at some point. That's getting up to about a year and a half pretty good for me right oh yeah all the ones that i've been able to uh not drink for a year have been amazing <laughs> nice yeah i think the first one i had i think i had the mandarin one and that was after six months that just tasted amazing it was like nectar and the one i have left is the apple So I look Apple's forward to that sometime. Be like a year and a half old at this point, right? Yep. Yeah. Or it'll be a year and a half, like in June. Man, so much is happening in June. All right, well, you're building. Let me get another sip of coffee. Got to re-energize. that I can put into this deck after some uh, sideboards. Well, that's room for at least one more board wipe. I mean, I think another death is probably mostly what I want. Let's see. Well, death would be good for my auras. But remember, my allies are warded. So targeting is going to be a problem. Yeah, I've uh, put banishes in for those. Awesome. Yeah, I was thinking Banish and the board wipes are probably your best bet. Well, I can definitely put in one. You know what? I'm going to add a Death and a Banish and take out... Hmm. Let's see, definitely a Death. 
so it'll be a one cost. I don't know if you have room for it, but Expel would also do a lot to set me back. Because this deck is really, it's like for a Mage War deck, it has a pretty high cost curve. I think only two or four, I think four of the cards, or five in, if you include Cycle, have a cost of one. The rest are two, and there's four that have a cost of three. Yeah, so cycle, bubble, counter. Yeah. here. So I've got the two counters, two stay back, and one cycle. Those are all one. <clears throat> and the rest are two, and the four allies are three. So pretty high cost curve. So for those two MP, I will add a death and an expel. Okay. Leading my sideboarding made my deck larger. Oh, can't use that card. <laughs> Uh, this deck is tw <clears throat> is twenty eight cards. Yeah, I mean, yeah, twenty eight. Right. That's revealing information. Turns out the number of cards in your deck will tell you something about the average MP cost of the cards in that deck. True. All right. I'm ready to go. Are you still neutral neutral? I am still neutral neutral. All right. Well, you lost last game, so I'll let you go first if you want. Or I'll let you choose. That's what you do. Well, this deck likes to go first, so I'm going to do that. Okay. Especially if I get a hand like this. Tap two, play, ally, DA advance, mastery, breach, two, one. Oh, fun. And attack for two. All right. You didn't have the clutch counter in your starting hand? I did not. <laughs> I love when that happens. You know, that may be a strong first play and all, but let's just uh, say it doesn't happen. <laughs> and DA advance himself. Okay. And fast turn. The end of your turn. I'm going to pay two, play high ground, All right. read one. Wow. <clears throat> Paranoid Keymaster. And what is your thing again? It is a 3-2 DA Advance Mastery Breach. Hmm. 
Yeah, past turn. Um, end of turn, I will expel your key master. He's warded. Oh, never mind. You could expel this, though. I, uh, hmm, would that even be useful? That would give you another guard draw. Would, uh, not allow that to be used against my creature. Uh, and he has, that key master has breach. Yeah, stun, breach. Warded. Sabotage. And, or DA Sabotage and World Revive. Revive, so it does not have Mastery. But Correct. High ground could give it to him. Yep. Yeah, I will expel your high ground at okay. the end of turn. I'll play a flank minion aura. I will see. <clears throat> Guess I'm attacking your key master. With? With my advanced mastery breach three two. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna stun. And I. Let's see. Remember, I guess I will attack you with my minion as well. For one. Yep. Past turn. All right. Pay two. Uh, high ground. And then attack, or actually, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna activate flank on Keymaster, and then attack your minion. Minion dies. So you get one damage. Oh, let's see. I'm looking at having to discard a card in that case. Hmm. This is a 2-3 with the flank. <clears throat> hmm. So in response to attacking the minion, I could sacrifice the minion for mana. Yep. Tap this for mana and play a rage minion aura to get a new minion into play. Okay. You're still taking one breach though, right? Yes, but now I have no cards to discard. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, pass turn. Pay two. 
play another DA Advanced Mastery Breach ally of the same variety. 2 1. Attack your key master with the 3 2 Mastery Breach Advance. Okay, I will stun. And I will attack with the other DA Advance Mastery Breach. Is it 2 1? It is 2 1. <clears throat> And I will put the plus one, plus one counter onto the minion, making it a two, two. Okay. Pass turn. Oh, you're not attacking with the minion? Oh, right. Yes, attack with the minion, of course. Okay. <laughs> keep and then pass turn. I keep thinking like, Magic save for blocking, <laughs> right? <laughs> okay, so no response to the end of your turn. <laughs> Let me check my discard. Oh, okay. Pay two. Um, greed or strike. Wait, let me say that again. Offensive capabilities. Greed one, strike. <clears throat> and then not going to activate strike, but I will get the greed. And then pass turn. Pay two, play my guard, cautious, one one ally. Okay. Attack your key master with my minion. Okay. Is it a 2 2? Yes. I'm gonna stun. Okay. Attack you with 2 1. Advanced mastery breach. Okay. So put his counter on my other ally, attack for five. That's, wait, that went from a one to a three. It was, oop, oop, oop. I mean, uh, four, attacking for four, not for five. Okay. Um, for how much? Four damage. Oh. And then let me discard. I'm going to discard guarded entrance. Hey, how many cards do you have in your hand? Um, six. Okay. I was wondering Actually, if I could just like extend myself a little further to kill you, but I don't think I'd be able to do that. Instead of discarding guarded entrance, I'm going to discard sabotage the uh stop that okay and his plus one plus one counter will go on the other mastery ally 
and uh, I pass turn. Okay. Turns out that sideboarding was largely useless. I just needed to not get a terrible starting hand. <laughs> well, I think actually that expel did that help expel a lot. did help a lot. To be fair, um, just needed to get over that tiny little hump at the very beginning. <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> this is funny. So I'm gonna t- uh, tap two play high ground on paranoid keymaster but of course the greed one doesn't matter and then tap two To activate revive. To revive cycle your cycle. Back. Discard. Wait. No. Hmm. Is there a way for you to activate cycle this turn? Because I think that's game if not. There is not a way. So I'm going to attack <clears throat> the 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 ally with the two on it. The four three mastery breach. Yes, and I'm going to activate strike. So he's got flank and strike. So that's plus four, plus two, and he has mastery. So he's I'm a, a five, five, four. four. Uh, I will pay one, activate TP guard. Oh, I think that's game. All right. I have six cards in hand. You can do more than six damage, right? Yeah, I can do like 10 damage. Yeah, that's more than enough. Damn. Well done. Corey beat the defensive deck. I think those uh, sideboards are going to stay as the main part of the deck, though, now, because it does need answers for things. That's good. Slowly starting an organic cube with this. That that deck right there is a really good start to a, to an organic cube. It is. All right. Well, we played. Was it three or four games? Three games. One three games. was the final of the set between necromania and purple alert yep so let's uh let's end it there and we can pick up next time with maybe a third game final game of this set yep between these two And uh, let's see here. So I don't. I don't think I'm going to let people into uh, these streams yet. But in the future, we definitely will. So if you've got like a camera set up and you want to play against Corey or I for Mage War, uh, you can do that. We'll probably do that within the next, I don't know, two or three streams. I think we'll probably just do one more with Corey and I. Um, And 
and then I think that's pretty much it. So uh, I'll probably I'll probably keep the name of the room the same. So it'll be Mage Hyphen War Hyphen Gameplay, and that's on Whereby, Whereby dot com, and then the room. So Whereby dot com slash Mage Hyphen War Hyphen Gameplay. And uh, people can check that out. <clears throat> and I'll in in the next stream, I'll uh, I'll let you know when the schedule is, so you can tune in and join us if you'd like. Thanks for watching. And uh, I'm going to end recording there, so Corey and I can have our uh, post game recap. There you go. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. See ya.